Okay, I'm going to show you this extension which allows you to make a slide tile puzzle um, which looks like this. So you all know this probably from your childhood that you slide them around. Um, in this case, it's giving you a little preview what the picture will be that we want to have at the end. If you get the right picture together, you then get a reward which could be taking you to the next slide. I'm really bad at these puzzles, so I'm not going to do this one. So this one is not quite so easy to make, I would say. So you will need this blue template. So you need to download the um, presentation and then go to add page, go to my creations and find this extension. The difficult part in this puzzle really is how to make the puzzle pieces because it doesn't do it for you. So you need to cut them out beforehand. And obviously for this puzzle to work well, they all need to be the same size. So I'll show you a trick how to do that. So here I've got my, my picture that I want to cut up. And to make all the pieces the same size, what I'm going to do is go to resources and find a table. And then I decide how many pieces I want. So let's say I want two columns. Um, so I delete any other data here that I don't need from this table. And as you can see, if I delete the data, it makes the table smaller. So let's make it even smaller like this. Okay, and then I need to go into the settings here and make sure that the fixed column width is on. So they're all the same size. And we also want to turn off the background color. So we go to that white box with the line for both the header and for the other cells. Okay, so now I can make this exactly the right size. It doesn't really matter if there's still data in there. You can just ignore that because really we're just after the lines here. Okay, so now I've made it exactly the size of my picture. So this will give me kind of the grid to cut this picture out. So now I'm going to put this in the background here. So the layer at the back. And now I can cut up this picture. So I click on there, then I go to the crop tool and I start cropping it. So it's exactly the size of my first box in a table. And as you can see, as soon as I start cutting, then I can see the table that's in the background, which makes it quite useful there. Okay, then I say, okay. So now I've got my first piece. Now you copy and paste that same piece and put it exactly in the same location as the other piece and then go back onto the crop tool. And now I can just slide over to this side and click OK. And now I've got two pieces. So one, two, and then fit together exactly. So again, I can now just copy and paste both those pieces, but I need to do them all individually, unfortunately. So just click on the left hand first, go to crop again and move one down. OK, and the same on the right hand side. So go to crop move down a little bit. I mean, I've got a bit of a gap there, uh, but doesn't matter too much. Okay, so in the end, I will end up with these pieces. So here's one I've prepared. And it is important that there is a gap because obviously to slide the tiles around, you need to have one empty space where the tiles can go. So you always need to have a gap. It doesn't need to be in the bottom right corner. Uh, it could be in a in the top left or wherever you want to have it but there needs to be one piece missing okay so um i've got my winning box here which i've already grouped with my little pig so this is what will appear if i win uh, obviously it could always be also be a text that is saying hell well done or a text that gives me the code for the next page or it could be um, an arrow with the link to the next page whatever you want uh, to happen when they get it then I've got my code here for peace. So make sure that you've got everything laid out as it should be at the end and you create as many pieces as you need. Okay, so we'll just copy and paste them here. I'll make it a bit quicker, copy and paste. There we go. Um, and you can see that I've got lots of piece X, piece X. Um, if I go out and back in again, it will then number them. But the numbering at this point is not so important. What is important is in which order you group them with the puzzle pieces. So put them on top of the puzzle pieces. They will all be invisible later on. So put them all on there. There we go. Anyone a piece. And now 
make sure you group them in the right order. So you need to start top left, just draw a box around the two uh, pieces, so the piece of the picture and the little code. I can't really see it, but it doesn't matter. I know it's there. And then I group it. And then we need to go top right and group it. Then the next line, group and group. Okay, so obviously if you've got um, more pieces, go along the whole of the top line first, or the top row, then the second row, then the third row, and so on. Okay, so group and group. Okay, so if you, if you go out and come back in again, you should see that your pieces are now numbered correctly. The first one I can see, but I can see here piece two, piece three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good, so they are all good. Then I also need the gap element. So that's this one here, two. So that's the gap. And this one does not need to be grouped, but it needs to be lined up exactly. So it needs to be lined up with the top right, uh, top left corner of the gap. Okay, so what you could do is select the piece to the left of it and that gap piece, and then use the alignment tool here to make sure they're both in the same line and then do the same with the gap piece and the piece above make sure they're aligned to the left okay so now i know that this fits exactly in my gap and now i can go to preview and you can see it's jumbled it up automatically so don't jumble it up that part it does for you and now i can move the items around and once i've got my streetcar here uh, all lined up then the little pig should show up